entire power represented here today. And I come to ask you to go all out to get every Negro in this county registered to vote. If each of you assembled here today decided that you were going to see that 10 other people are registered before the last day, which I think is next weekend, the 14th, I believe. Just see what a power you can be. And then after getting people registered, that is another and even greater responsibility. And that is to go out to vote in the primary. State of South Carolina, during the days of Reconstruction, sent many, send many, many Negroes to the state legislature. The state of South Carolina not only sent them to the state of legislature, Negroes to the Congress of the United States. The last Negro to leave the Congress of the United States was from the state of South Carolina. And in his farewell address, the one thing that he said said that even though this is a period that ends for us for a while, we will come again. <laughs> right here from this county and all over the state of South Carolina, once more we will be able to send to the State House. Once more we have the opportunity to send to the Congress of the United States competent qualified, dedicated black men and women. Let us on that glad day in June march on ballot boxes, for this is the way we are going to straighten up the South and the nation. Let us march on ballot boxes until somehow we will be able to develop that day. And men will have food and material necessities for their bodies, freedom and dignity for their spirits, education and culture for their minds. Let us march on ballot boxes until men and women will no longer walk the streets in search for jobs that do not exist. Let us march on ballot boxes until the empty stomachs of Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia, Louisiana, and South Carolina to feel, let us march on ballot boxes. <laughs> until the idle industries of Appalachia are revitalized, let us march on battle boxes. Until brotherhood is more than a meaningless word at the end of a prayer, but the first order of business on every legislative agenda, let us march on ballot boxes. Let us march on ballot boxes until every valley shall be exalted, until every mountain and hill shall be made low, until the rough places are made plain and the crooked places straight, and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it together. Let us march on ballot, back, bo ballot boxes until we are able to send to the state houses of the South men who will do justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with their God. Let us march on ballot boxes. One day, Mississippi, which has an affinity for the bottom, will be Mississippi, which has an affinity for the top. One day, Alabama, the heart of Dixie, will be Alabama, the heart of democracy. One day, South Carolina will be a better state. One day, Georgia will be a better state. And why is this true? Because mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. Glory. And all over the South and the nation we can sing, Glory, Hallelujah, Glory, Hallelujah. 
Our God is marching on, and so I say walk together, children. Don't you get weary. There's a great camp meeting in the promised land.